what I would like to speak about today is the fire bullet, you know? Uh, I mean, it's not it's not this one per se, but I mean, it's it's you know it's phone ones, you know, couple of scratches, couple of bumps. So, uh, the odds version of uh, the Fireball had his first, uh, uh, you know, test flight. Uh, it didn't go so well, but I, I haven't spoken that much about what the odds is, so I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna show you. So, the odds stands for Onboard Telemetry Computer or Onboard Telemetry System. Uh, so basically what the odds is, is it's a... Um, onboard uh, telemetry computer that we're going to be flying so it look it looks like this uh, so this one will not be flying because we had to cut some cables because it didn't work but it was but it was great for testing uh, so basically it's supposed to complete a couple of tasks because I want to do a night flight which is we launch in pitch black conditions and we still try to uh, successfully recover the vehicle. Uh, so we have done that before, we just didn't successfully recover the vehicle because we didn't realize how much of a hassle that was gonna be. Uh, so basically, uh, to be able to find a rocket in pitch black conditions, we need, uh, there are two different ways to do it. Either we could have flashing lights on the rocket to make it easier to track, uh, or a way to report its location. And so basically, uh, or an avionics bait. We just add an avionics bait. And easy. So the fire bullet, uh, before the changes, had it was made out of three, four different parts. The nose cone, and then at the bottom we have the fins. And then even further down, there is something that wasn't originally planned to be on board a rocket. It's the boat tail. The boat tail uh, basically just makes... It reduces drag, which is amazing to have when you're flying. Uh, and then we have the fence here, you know, meant to stabilize it. And right here we have the shoot house, which is, where you know, where, where, the, where the parachute is stored. But then there's this section, which is not used for anything. So I was like, huh. Can I just put the parachutes in here and then turn this into an avionics bay and just pop this section off? So that's exactly what I did. So I designed an avionics bay, then you screw in a god nut. Why is it called the god nut? Well, as a wise man once said, uh, if that thing breaks, it's time to start praying. Uh, anyways. Then in here we have the actual avionics bay. This is where the computer would be stored during flight. We have this section. And basically these things just slip together like any other parts. Uh, but behind me you can see the rocket. But if I maybe just put it into focus. Okay, you, no, it doesn't work. But So, uh... Yeah, let's, let's talk about what happened. Uh, in the photo that I published, uh, you know, like a few days before the launch, so I posted a picture of the rocket, and as you can see in that picture, there is a little uh, a little bit of blue tape around, uh, you know, the section that's going to separate. Uh, so, you know, just put some blue tape there, and then also put a little sticker on it saying, remove before flight. Uh, the, the day before the launch, L-1 rolled around. And I had so much to be on top of for this launch. I had to fix the recovery system because it was not working. It was constantly tangling. Uh, and now, also, one big modification that I made from FLP2 to FLP3. We hold all the sections of the rocket together with this. Fishing lines. Uh, they can... They say they can, they can handle... They can handle 19.5 kilograms. Which is plenty, but what I did for the recovery system what was I had these pair of straps. I think I have one. So I would have these pair of straps that I would uh, uh, put the line to, but I wouldn't just tie it here. Instead, 
I would loop it through and go make it go back so it would go in and then continue back and get tied where <coughs> it was first inserted. This meant that it went from 20 to 40 kilograms that could be supported. This was great. It, and but and we also had this classic ejection suspension. That is what was tested in the Fireball Path to uh, Path to Flight video. That never. Uh, that yeah, I ended that series. Uh, it just it was kind of boring. So I but because everything was tangling it, I removed the ejection suspension, the pusher plates, both of them actually, and the double lining. Basically, I went back to basics and did exactly what I did for the blackout project. And we all know that the Black Hour project didn't go all that well. But basically, uh, the day of the launch rolled around. Uh, my friend came over and we started, you know, just preparing the final few things before the flight. Packing the bags, you know, the before the launch bag. And I, and I, oh, and I like to say this. There is nothing useless that you can put in a, in a before flight bag. Engine mounts without bow tails, uh, whatever this is, uh, sandpaper, you know, just lighters, everything, multi-tools, anything that can be necessary out on the pad. But you'll notice that there's one thing that's not there. Or, but because I didn't tell you, but... Uh, there was one thing that was not in there. A checklist. So, because, you know, it's, you just, all you need to do, you just remove the tape, you know, you light the fuse, and you launch rocket, you know, there's not really that much that needs to be checked, right? Right? We just lit that fuse, and I was, I was ready to see this thing either completely fail, you know, break apart, because there was so much that happened. The day before the launch, I had managed to break the god nut, and so I had to just quickly make a new one that was reinforced. And the reason I broke it was because I just did a little nice test, you know, I just shroop, I was just going to, sadly there was no footage of this, but basically I took uh, the rocket, and I was just gonna sh just chuck it, like not throw it away, but hold the shoot house and just let the nose cone fly away, uh, you know, to see if it would deploy. It did deploy, just not in the way I was expecting. So the way I tied the lines around the god nut, which you can see here, uh, actually, I'll just show you a picture. Uh, so it was all tied around the god nut, but it just, the friction just caused it to break because I had not tied it correctly. Uh, so that was one thing that had gone wrong before the flight. And now, here comes the set. So, you know, I was like, whoa. If that could break it, the ejection charge will for sure break it, but you know, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so the rocket went up in the air. Everything looked good, but... Wait. Wait, wait, at this stage, isn't... Isn't the parachute supposed to come out? You know, we saw the ejection charge, but... The parachute didn't come out? <laughs> it's probably just me. No. Oh, no, oh, oh, wait. No. So yeah, the rocket hit the ground at 100 kilometers an hour. But why didn't the parachute come out? You know? Actually, why did it not split apart at all? Well, uh, so you remember that little bit of blue tape that was uh, strapped out around the rocket? You know, and you remember how it said Everything will be fine as long as it, uh, as long as it's removed before the flight. It wasn't removed before the flight, so you don't not remove before flight sticker. Uh, I removed it before because I was gonna do some testing, and I just didn't put it back on, and so I didn't realize that this little bit of blue tape was still attached to the rocket, and so the parachute could not deploy. So yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to say about this launch. Uh, I have more planned, it's just my 3D printer is not working. For the life of me, I cannot get it to work. It's just producing these rock-like thingies. It's just producing those, and I don't know what's causing it. If you have any idea, please comment it down there. It would help out so much. But anyways, 
that was that was what I want to talk to talk about. Uh, the what's probably next on the agenda is trying to get three D printer to work, then building a new rocket, proving that the arts configuration will work, building the arts, te uh, testing the arts, and then the night launch. And now that's that's gonna be exciting. I I'm so stoked for that night launch. So, anyways. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!